Hello, my name is Frank, and I want to talk about affordable housing. And I have lived in affordable housing. For five years, I stayed in a rooming house. And the reason I did was that in 2010, we went through a recession, and I lost my home my mobile home that I built with my own hands. And I had to move back to my hometown. And my sisters tried to help me some, but they just were limited or didn't feel compelled enough to help me enough is to really get on my feet. So I was forced out and I was fortunate enough to find this rooming house and I stayed in that rooming house for five years, up until 27. So it was 2012 to 2017. Five years I stayed in this rooming house. And 2012, I think I paid $75 a week. And I want to talk about that there's a lot of people in Tampa Bay that are staying in motels. They can't even get into an apartment. They can't get into a trailer. They can't get into anything. And I'm really concerned for these people. I want, like, and I think I have a vision that might, that we could do something. And it may not be what people want or like, but it would still provide a way for them to get out of of not being homeless if they want to get a job no matter how low pay it is and I don't feel like section 8 is doing it for everybody the waiting list and whatever I mean I really want to make a difference and I think I have a plan hotels are expensive and they're made for visitors that come from up north and come into Florida, and they're expensive. A rooming house is affordable, and the rooming house that I stayed in, it didn't have a bathroom in the room. A motel does, or a hotel. It has its own little bathroom. So there's differences. You don't pay by the day. You might, at a rooming house, you might pay by the week or month. But it's very similar, but my rooming, the, the, room, the man that owned the rooming house was a lot more forgiving than somebody running a hotel or motel. A lot more forgiving. Um, and so, um, thanks to him, I was able to get off the street. And I want to share this because I want to, I know there's people suffering. So I want to say that you can survive in an 8x10 room. You can survive without... We had a public... Uh, we had 12 men staying in a... It was like a house. But it wasn't. It was always a rooming house. From 100 years ago when Tampa had a cigar factory. So it was always a rooming house. And it had 10 or 10... 8x10 rooms and two little tiny studio apartments in the back. It made about $4,000 a month with those men. And they all had affordable. So if you'd had the rent at that time for a house was like $1,000 or $1,200 a month to rent a house. In that same space, you had 10 single men, 10 or 12 single men staying in the same space that a small house would be in and same size lot. And so it was a win-win. It was a win for the men, and it was a win for the guy that owned that lot that had this rooming house. It was the same, like, you know, the same size of like 2,000 square feet. Uh, maybe it was a big, like kind of a big house, but it had 10 rooms. So it, we had two showers, and basically we'd wear sandals, and we'd walk down the hallway and we would you, you had two two showers and so you didn't need plumbing in 10 rooms you know you didn't need plumbing 
because we shared that. And so <clears throat> that's even cheaper than a motel to build. So I want to see people get off the street. And I, want to, I would like to see some vision where we start building truly affordable housing to get people off the street. And this can be applied even to families. But maybe, you know, a family, you need a little more room. But it still doesn't have to be a lot. You can still do things small, micro, and affordable. Somebody that is just, they have no credit, no savings account, and they get, they got a family, and they've run into hard times, and you provide a way for them to have some dignity and pride. And it can be very, very small, but it can be very practical and work. You could have, uh, we could build in a large city, maybe a skyscraper, and skyscrapers aren't cheap to build. But we want to talk about getting a lot of people into some f homes or something more affordable than apartments even. Something where you don't have to work three jobs. You can work one job and take care of your family. And it's small and cheap and affordable to build. And it gets, the rent is really affordable for those jobs, people that do not have the ability to have a college degree, whatever, but it gets people off the street. You can build bunk beds. There's ways of building rooms smaller, public, you know, where you have shared bathrooms and shower stalls, even maybe a shared kitchen area where you have four or five things and it and it's uh, maybe you keep a refrigerator in, in a family situation where you have a refrigerator. Um, I, I really do. I had hot plates in my 8x10 room, a little tiny refrigerator, and then I went up to a little bit larger refrigerator. And uh, I lived, I made it work for five years. And we had, uh, so I really think there's a way that we could get people off the streets. And uh, I just don't think that the vision is there because we, in America, the developers, it's all about making, we're in a big money-making thing, but I really think that everybody can win. And in my past organizing events and things, I like to think of ways where everybody wins. And I really think that we could, developers could get together and, and, and act, people that want to see people get into homes affordably. I think it could be arranged where it's a win-win for everybody. And that's what I always operated when I organized musical events and things. And when I was younger, I, I did things with the idea that everybody wins. Everybody comes out winning because it works for everybody on all ends. That was how I organized musical shows and they worked really well. And I wanna say that I want very desperately to see people get off the street. People who are genuine, who wanna work, but just don't have the I don't have good cre I don't have any credit or very little and I've run through bad luck. I paid my credit down. I paid my credit bills down and I just didn't want to have credit anymore because I didn't want to keep being held down by it. I'm making this video because I would really would like to get with le city leaders. I would love to help out and see our the Bay Area provide housing affordable housing but it's not housing it's just really small spaces even for families but it works it gets some people who have no credit who have no savings account who have no way of putting three thousand dollars to get into an apartment with a family it doesn't you don't have a 10-year waiting list we really start building these things to get people into home, into a living space. It's not a home. 
It's a living space. It doesn't have to be forever, and it doesn't have to be for everybody, but it can be something for the time being, you get into this affordable situation. Tiny, but small, but workable. You don't have a lot of possessions. You're living kind of like a mimicous lifestyle. Until you can get yourself settled, maybe you go to college, and then you move up into something bigger and nicer. But at least it gets you off the street. You fall into hard times and you've got a family, you can go into one of these situations. It's tiny, it's small, very limited in space, but you get your family off the street. And you are paying, and you don't, it's not free. You work, you have a job, but you have dignity because you are not living with a fam, some friend that hates you after two months of living with them or a family member that really just doesn't get it that you're really struggling and you really need help and they or they just don't care it takes that and gives you a dignity and i want to see people hit off the street who want to help themselves because that's me you know i am not the brightest person in the world i never thought of myself as bright or haven't i wanted more but I can live with less for a little while. Just let me get a chance so I don't fall into the street and be homeless. I've been terrified of being homeless. I really am. I'm terrified of it. I'm terrified for other people. And I really want to do something about it. I really want to. Okay?